The Army took to the pitch in confident mood after some intense training from England under-21 manager Stuart Pearce in the lead-up to this clash. Their opponents for the day, an FA legend side loaded with former stars, many of them ex-internationals, marshalled by England head coach Roy Hodgson, who was delighted the game was being played. We at the FA, like everyone else in the country for that matter, are more than aware of what the armed forces do for us. So if you get a chance to give even a little bit back, you, 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 you grab that opportunity with, with open arms. The servicemen were soon into their stride. A stunning start for the Army saw Jay Bates give them an early lead. He steered the ball past Tony Warner in the legend's goal. But one-time Chelsea star Tor Andre Flo worked an equaliser. His shot deflected past the helpless Luke Kearney. Sam Agar, who caught the eye with a man of the match winning performance, set up Keith Emerson to slot home and restore the Army's advantage. However, just before the break, Kevin Kilban levelled. The former forward has lost none of his flair and Kenny was left floundering. The second half saw the legends take the initiative thanks to someone more famous for sitting down than playing football. Sky Sports presenter Ben Shepard latched onto ex-Norwegian international Jan Arge Fjortoft's back heel to calmly slot the ball home. Hours of watching others play had clearly rubbed off. Dutchman Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank harassed the Army's defence, allowing Fjortov to rekindle his love affair in front of goal and wrap up a 4-2 victory. The Army suffered only their second defeat of the season, but the post-match plaudits from the professionals poured in. I was 15 when I joined the Royal Navy and I was only in for six months. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they bought me out, Portsmouth bought me out for £200. I think it still goes down as the worst deal in the club's history, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's a long time since I was in the armed forces, but what a, you know, what a fantastic charity, I have to say. The link between the forces and the FA is very strong, always has been, and uh, so it was important. I think that's why you got such a turnout of uh, top players that, that wanted to support the game today, and the attitude of everybody was great. Well, it's a great occasion. Uh, all the boys did well. Really proud of them all. Uh, I'm fantastic for all the, uh, the legends come out as well. And to cap an amazing day for several Army players, the England manager was on hand to honour the 25th occasion they'd represented their service. Julian Evans, Forces News, Reading.